Hello, so in this video I'm going to be showing how I put my hair into a hair bun or like up into a like a man bun or whatever. I'm going to be using the Sultanicals Mango Dip Detangling Slip. It's a really good leave-in. It has a lot of really good ingredients um, and I'm going to be using that as, as my leave-in for putting my hair up into a bun. So first what I'm going to do is spray my hair with water. So my hair is really thick, so I need to and anytime you're putting anytime you're touching your hair, your hair should be wet. You shouldn't be trying to style your hair when it's dry because then it will get damaged. Um you get split ends and that sort of stuff. So I'm going to be spraying my hair. I spray the the edges first of my hair because that's what I'm going to be putting the, the leave-in on. And this is really like refreshing a style too. Like if you don't want to wear your hair out or you um, just want to put your hair up, this is a good way of doing that. And I just want to make sure that I get water evenly, sprayed evenly throughout my hair. And um, so that it's all pretty much damp because then I'll be able to put my this leave-in in it. The Sultanicals products are all very good. I really highly recommend them. They all have are like really good ingredients in them. Um, they don't have anything that's toxic in them. Like a lot of um, a lot of like mainstream products do, and that's why I really like to use their products. Um, when I use their products, I notice how that my hair's health really improves and um i really just highly recommend them all right so now i'm gonna start putting in my Sol sultanicals mango dip and um now that my hair is like pretty evenly wet and it's not like totally wet it's more damp then i can start putting in the um, mango dip detangling slip, and you just want to like put it in the direction that you're in your hair that you're going to be putting your bun in. So, and all the while, like I'm trying to keep my hairs, um, like the the way that the curls are going. I'm trying to keep. I'm putting it in that direction. Like you don't want to, like, really. Um, like change your hair's direction a whole bunch of ways. And I'm putting it everywhere, like on the per perimeter of my hair really. So I'm putting it behind and the back part of my hair. And this leave-in is, it's, it's like sort of like a medium consistency, but it will actually, like, some people use gels with putting in gel when they're putting their hair back. And I found that, like, since I'm refreshing my hair, there's, um, I can just use this alone, the mango dip detangling slip, as a way of, um, keeping the hair in place once it's in a bun. And my hair is very thick. I think it's, Probably type 4A, um, though I'm not like t totally sure, I'm pretty sure it's like that. And um, when I when I put this in, it just, it just helps. Like you can already tell, like just with the water, like the, the, the leave-in is actually defining. It's, I found one of the only leave-ins that's defining, like, Sultanicals leave-ins are the only leave-ins that will define your hair curls and um, without having a gel. 
they're just like the best leave-ins. They really are. And um, so I'm just like making sure that my hair is gonna get all this leave-in in it. And it's all evenly through it. And I'm not worrying about like too much of the, the middle part of my hair. I'm, I'm more worried about the per, like the parameter, like the edge, the edge of my hair, because that's where I'm focusing the product on. Um, Cause that's what I'm gonna need to be getting flat. And I'm just, I'm just, um, Putting the product in, I'm using my fingers. I usually use my fingers, like I use the raking method. Anytime I'm adding product to my hair, the finger raking method. I don't use um, combs often. I like to finger detangle because I it's just um, leads to me for me at least to less breakage and um, sometimes when I use combs, it actually tangles my hair more, makes it frizzy. So um, now pretty much my hair is evenly, it's got like a good amount of product in it and it's got the moisture in it. You When you're spraying the water, you don't want to spray too much. Like you don't want it to be soaking wet because in that case it will, um, you don't want to be having your hair up and soaking wet underneath the bun all day because then it gets you can get hydro fatigue which is when you when you have too much water and dampness in your hair so you want it to be like damp so that when it's up in a bun it'll dry so then you can get your hair tie and my hair tie here i'm using is made up of other like i took a bunch of different like I took a bunch of the same hair tie actually and um get my hair off of this and um I put them together because just one hair tie isn't going to be enough for my hair and I might make a video showing how I made this hair tie out of other hair ties I just um like put them together with a bobby pin so then what I do is I Tried, I put the hair tie on my wrist and then I try to get my hair back to the to where I want it to be in a bun and I gotta turn it to this way so you can see and I'm just pulling it up so that it's in the in this way that I'd like it to the bun to be and you just what, what, you, what I'm doing is I'm just grabbing the hair and bringing it up grabbing it and bringing it up and smoothing the edges down sorta so that it um so that it's up and and then you get your hair tie and you um you really want, I have a mirror in front of me and that's how I can tell that it's even because you, unless you're trying to have a sideways bun, um, you probably don't want one. Though. So then I take, I take my hair tie and while I'm holding the hair at the same time in place where I'd like it, I, um, and I'm holding it pretty tight, I take the, the hair tie in this hand and then I just bring it over the whole bun. And then I um I just make sure that everything like, f like f fluff it up a little bit and um make sure that it's even and then you can see that the bun's in place. And this is something that you know you can do when you're just trying to extend a, a wash and go which i'm doing um the the sultanicals products are so good like you can see i don't even need to like put a um i don't even have to wrap my hair or put tie it down with anything because that leave-in is so defining um 
it's got such good ingredients. I have the bottle here. It's got like distilled water infused with nettle, horsetail, um, slippery elm. Uh, these and um, those are all like really good um, ingredients for your hair. They just improve the health of it. And I've noticed that with using their products, that that really does happen. It's such a it's such a good brand, um, and I really highly recommend them. They um, it doesn't have like a lot of glycerin in it. I don't even know if it has any glycerin. I think it doesn't. Or maybe it has, if it does, it's like way down on the list. Because I've noticed when things have a lot of glycerin, that my it actually makes my hair more frizzy. So I really highly recommend their products. Um, and I, they're just like the best leave-ins, really. So that's my hair bun. And um, stay tuned. I'll be posting more videos. Um, just showing people how to how I refresh my hair and style my hair um so if you if you like this video subscribe because I'll be posting new videos all right and thank you bye